Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead. Also, a couple of Western movies are coming out. Let's check it out. Right after Halloween, Tucsonans drop the candy in superhero costumes because it's time to celebrate the Day of the Dead. Named Dia de los Muertos in the Spanish language, it is a celebration every year when the veil between the living and the dead is lifted so that we may party with our loved ones who have passed on and continue to remember them. This tradition dates back to the Aztec Empire and has been significant with the Latin American culture. Of course, Prior to the Gadsden Purchase in 1853, some of our country would have been Mexico. Even today, a large part of our community is Hispanic. Articles from period newspapers mention the festival, so we know it was celebrated in America during the period of the Old West. Festivities include visits to grave sites and leaving food for deceased ancestors. Skulls and skeletons are highlighted in amusing ways like dancing and singing. In fact, a large part of the tradition is painting faces to look like skulls. Here in Tucson, we have a parade that has become increasingly popular in the last 30 plus years since it started. We see not just the Hispanic community, but all cultures celebrating. There are places in town where people will paint your face for the festivities. Specialty foods that you can share with your deceased ancestors include pan de muerto, a festive bread, and sugar skulls, among other things. These ofrendas, or offerings, can be placed on a family altar next to photos of the deceased and even shared with neighbors. Along with food, marigolds are in abundance. According to the Mexican tradition, the scent of marigolds attracts spirits. Dia de los Muertos is represented in the movie The Quick and the Dead with Gene Hackman and Sharon Stone. Disney made a fun movie about it named Coco. The Day of the Dead differs from Halloween in that we aren't afraid of what lies beyond, Rather, we embrace it. Honoring our loved ones with celebration is what it's all about. On another note, some of these Western movies we ghostwriters have been a part of over the last year are starting to emerge. Keep an eye out for Far Haven, which premiered in October on the Cowboy Way channel. It's an all-star cast with a surprise for me. I got to be in a scene with Donnie Most who I watched every week is Ralph Malf on the TV show Happy Days. How do you like our costumes, Fonz? <laughs> <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Following that was Birthright Outlaw, available on the Pure Flix network. This one also has a few names we've seen in great westerns over the years. With both films, I was reunited with Tom Proctor, who I did Legend of Five Mile Cave with a few years ago. He's one of those actors that's so fun to work with. Not only is he super talented, but he's down to earth and up for a giggle in between takes. We had a moment where I had to shy away from him with very little room to cross. Let's just say our bellies were pretty close. On the first take, his knife handle skewered me, which got us both smiling. There's more westerns coming out, folks, so keep your eyes peeled in 2024. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. The boatmen dance, the boatmen sing, the boatmen do most anything. And when the boatmen get on shore, he spends his cash and works for more. Dance, boatmen dance, dance, boatmen dance. Dance all night till the broad daylight, go home with the gals in the morning. Dance, boatmen dance, dance, boatmen dance. Dance all night till the broad daylight, go home with the gals in the morning.